Hey guys, welcome back to the Seed Exchange. Today we're going to be doing cuttings from Pierce Japonica. I had to cut a bunch of these branches off. Um, I was doing some cleaning up in my garden. So I decided I'll make a video on how to propagate these cuttings. It's kind of the wrong time of the year to do this because they're in flower, but it can be done. It's better to do it after they've already flowered. But if you take and cut the flowers off, then it'll go back to trying to produce roots instead of trying to flower out. So what we're going to do is we're going to deadhead deep. We're going to get rid of all these flowers here in just a little bit. What you're going to need is you're going to need Pierce Japonica cuttings, of course. You're going to need cups. I use styrofoam cups. And you want to label them with a date. You're going to need potting soil. You're going to need a tray like this. You're going to need some nippers. You're going to need a marker so that you can uh, mark your cups with. This is the one that I've been using. Seems to be working really good. I bought it today. And I use this to poke holes with. It's a little dowel rod. And take root. Alright, so let's get started. So here's our cuttings here. We're going to pull one of these out. Alright. See it's got a bunch of flowers on that. Pretty long stem. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to cut these flowers off. Just like so. We don't need all those flowers on there. I picked this one because it was really, really straight and it looked really, really nice as a plant. I'm just going to take and trim all these little flowers off. got a dead branch right up in there I don't know if you can see it we're gonna go ahead and take it out too all right now we've got all the flowers off of it it's a nice little tree it's been sitting in water for about 24 hours now. I let it, the cutting soak up all the moisture that it can. And then all I do is I take the take root here, right here, and pour some into a container. Pour it out like that. You just want to put your cutting in it. Something about like that. Alright, now we're going to, our cutting is ready for the dirt. We'll put this to the side. Alright, now we're going to take our cup. If you're using a plastic tray like this, which is the best because you can just pour water in the bottom, you want to put holes in the bottom of this cup so that it stays. Uh, moisture gets up there so you want to take and poke holes right along the bottom of it and make sure your water is always stayed above these holes so you, you know your cutting is nice and moist it's very essential that it stays moist it has a better chance of rooting poke a couple on the bottom alright now our cup is ready it's labeled it's got our date on it in eight to ten weeks these should be rooted so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our potting soil and this is just old potting soil that I've mixed up um, I've added a little bit of it's been fertilized over and over I've actually washed this um, so it's pretty clean it's kind of damp it's got a bunch of uh, all kinds of stuff mixed up in it. It's really good for cuttings. It's nice and rich. They root really well in it. I'm just going to put some 
Up in the cup. All right, so now we got our cup ready. Our cutting is ready. Now we want to just take it and stick it down in the cup. We want to go two to three inches with this cutting. All right. Now we just want to take and firm it up around it. All right. There you go. Eight to ten weeks. This will be ready. Nice little plant to add to the landscape. All right, guys. Let's do let's do some more. I've got a whole bunch of cuttings here. I'm not sure how many of these I'll keep and plant back out, but I will keep a few of them. These are really really nice plants. So we'll go ahead and get our cup ready again. We're gonna take our dowel rod. We'll make sure we poke our holes in it, just like so. And we want to poke a couple holes right here in the bottom. All right. Now I'm going to put our dirt in there. All right. So we're going to get our next cutting here. We're going to do this one here. This one here doesn't have any blooms on it. It does have a little bit of dead right there. I'm going to go ahead and trim that dead branch out because we don't need it. Alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our take root. I've got right here. I'm just going to put that cutting right there in it. Make sure we get plenty of it on it. And then we're going to take and push it down into our cup two to three inches. Or I push it down until it feels solid. And I kind of pack the dirt in there with my fingers around it, like so. Sometimes you have to add a little bit more dirt depending on how tall that cutting cutting is you're trying to root. All right, now that plant's ready. All right, let's do a couple more. Eight to 10 weeks, these will be rooted up. Here's a nice one, it's nice and short. These are really pretty. They bloom in about March, they'll be in about full bloom. This one go around the cup again. It's right around the bottom. These cups are pretty cheap. I get 20 of them at the dollar store for a dollar. All right, we got our cup ready. All right, let's put some dirt in it. take our cutting and put it in this take root right here I got a little happy with the dirt and threw some in there that's why I always use a separate container that way I don't have to put this back in my other container you just want to get some of this take root right around the edge bottom of this you know take your cup and go to the center of it I'm gonna push that thing down two to three inches till it feels solid so you take your fingers and you'll sort of press around it. Just like so. Alright, it's another one. Alright, let's do uh, three more. 
Let's pick us out some more right here. Still a couple of these smaller ones here. We'll do these right here. Let's get our cup ready. Poke some holes in this thing. Guys, if you like the videos, please subscribe. Um, if you want to know how to do cuttings or plant seeds or on different types of plants and then we haven't covered them, uh, if you leave a comment below, I'll try to get to those videos as soon as I can. If you have any more suggestions for the channel, please, please put those in the comments below. Um, this is a fairly new channel. I try to update at least once a month. Um, depending on how busy we're getting you just want to take your take root and put it on there like that stick it down in the dirt firm it up just a little bit here all right it's another one done but if you got any suggestions for the channel just be sure to comment below we're coming up on 500 subscribers. Once we have 500 subscribers, we're going to be doing a contest. And we're going to be giving away. Well, it's not going to be really a contest. We'll take every one of the subscribers' names and put it in a hat. And you have to be one. You have to be from the U.S. And we're going to give away some plants. That's at 500 subscribers. We're at 488 right now. And... We're almost there. Thank you guys for watching this. these videos. We really, we really do appreciate it. I'm going to take your take root and put it on there like that. Let's put some dirt in this thing first. Alright, we got our cup ready now. We got our take root on it right there. We'll slide it down right there in the middle. And we'll firm it up. That's how easy it is to propagate these things. We're just going to keep them moist for 8 to 10 weeks. And then we can back off the water once they started rooting. Because you don't want to you don't want to rot those roots out. We'll get our next cup ready right here. Go ahead and put some holes in that thing. You can give these to your friends, you can sell them, uh, swap with other people. Really fun way to propagate these plants. You can do it with all kinds of trees and other types of plants as well. I'll be doing a lot of videos on cuttings and how to propagate different varieties of things. All right, now we got our dirt ready there. We're gonna get our cutting right here ready. We'll put some take root right here on it. We'll slide it down in the middle, about two to three inches. Sturdy it up. All right, there we go. Alright guys, we've got them ready. All we have to do now is we just put water in this bottom pan right here. It'll soak up here and we don't have to water these at all. Just put it right here. In 8 to 10 weeks we'll come back, we'll make another video and we'll see how these cuttings did. See how well they rooted, see if this method worked for these cuttings. I've done this several times in the past and it's always worked great for me. If you like this video, please subscribe and thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.